Now, remember your rules of exponents, okay? So remember, when we multiply x squared, let's say, times x cubed, we add the exponents, okay? That'll give us x5, okay? So this is the same thing, just with fractions. I'm going to add the exponents. So, what's 5 eighths plus 3 eighths? That's what the exponents are. That's 8 eighths, which is just 1. So this is just x, or x to the 1, because I added the exponents. Okay? That's the answer to that one. Right, let's look at the next one. Um, this is a division. Remember what to do with divisions? You subtract the exponents. So if I look at the exponents, it's 3 fourths. Take away 1 fourth. That's what it's going to give me, all right? Um, which is 2 fourths, which will simplify to 1 half. So what this is saying is this is the answer. Y to the 1 half, okay? Now let's see if it wants anything else. Right with positive exponents. Okay, that's it, all right? That's the answer. I didn't know if it wanted me to change it to radical. In other words, if I wanted it in radical notation, remember y to the half is the square root of y, but it's not asking for that, so I don't need that. So I think that's all it wanted. Okay. So again, remember keep remember your rules of exponents. So that was the product rule up the top. Okay. Remember the product rule, the quotient rule where you subtract, and now the power rule. Remember the power rule. This is when you do multiply the exponents. Okay, so this is what's 5 times 2 fifths. That's what you do for this one. Okay, this is the power rule. Remember, product rule, quotient rule, and now power rule. Well, that'll just give me 2. Okay, it's like saying they cancel. Just remember, you're multiplying fractions. Okay, so that is b squared. That's the answer to b5 raised to the power 2 fifths. I just multiplied the 5 and the 2 fifths. Okay.